guys? So we're back here with the 99 Acura TL and today we will be doing the map and map sensor. All right, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the map sensor in this segment of the video. So we're gonna be taking a look at the voltage on all three of the wires here. And then we're gonna be putting the key on, testing the voltage, and then go ahead and plugging in a vacuum gauge onto a vacuum port, um, port which is right back here. And then we're gonna be testing the vacuum and seeing what voltage we get out of these pins here. All right, so taking a look at the wiring diagram here, you have the manifold absolute pressure sensor, which is right here. And then you have the red, green, yellow, red, and green, white wires. And then we can go on over here. There's the yellow, red, white, green, and red, green wires coming out of that sensor there. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be testing the voltage and back probing each of the wires here. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have the key on and the off. So don't have the car running, but have the key turned on. So you're gonna go back in here and you're gonna don't don't stab it through the wire, but just kind of just gently poke it back in there. You gotta you gotta get a feel for it. Pause it. That pin in there, don't don't just stab it in, just make sure it's in there. And then you're gonna take your test lead here and you're just gonna clamp it on right there. And you should have five bolts through that red yellow wire. Alright, so the next one we're gonna be testing is the signal, which is this red green wire here. So we're gonna be popping that back probe in there, taking your lead and going on. That, oh, for obvious, obvious reasons, we don't need to test ground because it's ground and you should be getting no voltage. Um, so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going and taking a look at the vacuum at um, different speeds. So we're going to that now. Alright, so now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking a look at the vacuum. So you're going to go back here and plug this vacuum line. It takes two hands. And then you're going to be coming in here with your vacuum gauge. And we're putting that in. You're then going to take a hifty nifty zip tie and you're going to zip tie this puppy. Not obviously too tight, but just enough to where there's no vacuum leak. And then I'm going to go around here and go fire up the car. Our car is running about 18 inches per mercury, and that's running good. So obviously it's in the green here. And then you'll notice when I flip the throttle, it goes down, which that's correct. So we know that our vacuum is working properly. Well, I went ahead and probed the signal wire, and we're going to be testing when I flip the throttle to see if our voltage goes. So you notice we're running at about 0.9 right now. And as I slowly increase the throttle, you notice that the voltage goes up. So that's how we know that our map sensor is working properly. And yeah. So guys, we are switching gears from the Acura to the Equinox here, because this one has a map, mass airflow sensor. And if you come in here, I'm gonna show you the different wires here and what they are. The pink one here is the power for the MAF, and then the black and white one here is the ground, and the yellow here is the signal wire. And then these two solid colored wires here are for the intake air temp sensor. The light blue, is the signal wire and then the tan one is the ground. Okay, so I've already went ahead and back probed the signal wire here. And so we're gonna go and head and hook up the old voltmeter here and see what we get on our readings. If I can get that to stay there. 
just hook it up here. Now, the the signal is gonna be in hertz uh, for the map sensor here. And as you can see, we're getting 0.48 with the key on, engine off. And I will have Devin go ahead and start her up and see how it changes. Let her settle down. Alright, so it's looking. Well, give it a second here, let it calm down. Okay, it looks like it's evened out. We're getting about 2.1, 2.0 hertz. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have Devin. Go ahead and go to 2000. And as you can see, it goes up to about 2.8, 2.9 hertz. And when he lets back off of it, it'll go back down to, to 2.0 hertz. Action! Devin and I want to show you guys just how important the map sensor is to the engine. And how we're going to do that is we're going to disconnect it and see what happens to the engine. Well, that was supposed to die, but you know, it's Chevy, and Chevy never dies. Alright guys, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe.